1700s, France was heavily burdened by large amounts of debt, the old regime system, and poor leadership. The lavish courts were spending millions of dollars and paying no money back to the government. France's debt was left to the third estate, bankers, lawyers, doctors, professors, but mostly peasants. By the late 1700s, these people were ready to fight for a change. They wanted equality for all people and to have the other states share their burden. The work is hard. The conditions are terrible. My foreman cares not about any of us workers, nor about any other, anyone other than himself. My family is starving, and due to the high prices of food from the failing harvest, I cannot afford to buy any. I don't know what they're complaining about. There are many other people that would give to work. My employees, they should be thankful of the work I give them. I'm trying to help them. Well, kind of. I hope this revolution is a success. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm starving. I'm living in the streets. There's no work for me anywhere. This is getting ridiculous. I hope our country gets it together and figures out what we want for the majority of our people. This is our list of grievances. Corrupt tax system. Regulated press. The irregular meetings of the Estates General. No price regulation on goods. We need to close the gap between the Estates. In August, the National Assembly issued the Declaration of the Rights of Man. However, King Louis was very hesitant to accept the reforms of the National Assembly. Therefore, the nobles still had banquets and the pe peasants continued to starve. This led to the planning of many revolts. The storming of Versailles happened on October 5th, 1789. The storming was a huge step for the Third Estate because it was the capturing of the king. This gave the Third Estate an upper hand on making decisions that would help the majority of the people. And it brought them hope, hope for a better life, and hope for a revolution.